So I just want to do a quick kind of rev review of uh, basically project structure and like, you know, the way files are kind of organized on wrap. Um, the one thing to really keep in mind is that you should, when you're working with a command line, you should use file pass with the command line. Um, and so here's an example here. So we are in that uh, uh, JL training project. Um, so this is the, the base kind of level. So we want a cell file in bulk, genotype results, cell files. And again, because the bulk structure of wrap is such that, um, you know, there's uh, each of these files is kind of divided in in terms of the uh, the user, the EID. So we are in the 11 folder here. So this is a file we want to reference. So you can see we are in bulk slash genotype results slash cell files slash 11 slash, and this is the file name. Uh, when possible, you can you should preface the file path with a, with a project ID of your project, so you can get the file path um, from this uh, from from the information window by clicking on this little um, copy button here, and this will give you the full uh, file the full file folder pa folder path um, for the pro uh, for this file in your project, including the project ID. So uh, when possible, please include the, the, the project ID for your project. Um, this actually makes the querying uh, and um, accessing the files faster and more efficient. So please keep that in mind. If you are familiar with Unix, um, much of the same kind of file um, and directory kind of folder um, exploration commands are available. So for example, you can look at your um, present working directory with dxpwd. If there is a folder you want to change into, you can use dxcd. So for example, if we wanted to um, do change into the bulk, the bulk folder, we can do dxcd bulk. Um, if you want to basically list the file, the IDs, uh, basically you want to list all of the files within um, a particular location, you can use DXLS. Um, you can also list the files with their file IDs by adding this dash LA option. Uh, last thing to mention is if you've set any environment variables, um, you can use this DX ENV command. So let's take a look at these. So what I'm going to check is my present working directory. So I'll use the dxpwd command. And you can see that we are in that project that we selected, the JL training project. So the next thing is I want, uh, so I want to list what is in the root folder. So I can do a dxls. So you can see that we have like four levels or four folders here. So we have a bulk folder, we have a showcase metadata folder, we have a cohorts folder and a notebooks folder. So I can change into that cohorts folder here by doing DX CD cohorts. And then if I do a DX LS here, you can see that these are the three cohort or the four cohorts that I've kind of defined in this folder. If I want more information, including the um, including the file IDs, I can type in, I believe it's LA, DXLS dash LA. And you can see that we get more information. We have kind of the state of the files. We have uh, the, the name of the files followed by the actual ID. So that's, um, that's the basics behind doing some file manip manipulation. So let's move on. So um, these are commands for kind of getting data onto and off of the platform, or basically kind of exploring 
um, what's in a file. So you can make a directory within your project using um, dx um, mkdir and followed by the name of the name of the, the folder that you want to make. In this case, um, so notice that we don't, there's no DX here. So this means we're actually um, working on our machine. So we're just creating a file called my underscore file dot txt. Um, we're just using this echo command to get the text hello world into there. So we've created this file on our machine called my underscore file dot txt. If we use, we can get that onto the platform using DX upload. And so you can basically, so DX upload will basically add this as a file on the platform. Um, you can use the dot dash dash path argument to specify a precise location on the platform. If there is a file you wanna download, you can use DX download um, and give it basically the file path. If you want uh, to kind of see the, the contents of the files, um, I recommend that you use DX head um, just because this basically only returns the first few lines, um, but you can also use DX cat, which is the, same, is the uh, DNA nexus equivalent of using the cat command. So one of the most important commands when you're working with files is DX describe. So here we're basically going to, uh, I'm, I have this cohort uh, file here called, and the cohorts uh, folder called neoplasm underscore participants. And so if I do um, a DX describe on that, um, I'm going to get file information. And so uh, this is especially useful um, when you are kind of, you need to get information on particular files and kind of understand, you know, what they are on the platform. So almost everything on the platform is uh, uh, described as an object. So um, you can use this on almost any of the objects on the platform, whether it be an app, whether it be a, um, a workflow, um, whether it be a file. Um, so this is so this is an example where we're uh, basically describing a cohort. But here we're, um, we can basic we can describe a file. If we need to kind of uh, work with this this information programmatically, we can return it with as a JSON file using the dash dash JSON. So let's take a look at that. So let's clear. So I'm going to do a DX PWD. So I'm going to check out where I am on the platform. And again, I'm in that train uh, that cohorts folder. So um, let's do a DX LS just to list the files. And let's get information about this neoplasm underscore participants. So I'm going to type in DX, oops. DX describe neoplasm underscore participants. And so you can see um, that this is a file of type record and you can get information about the project. You can get information about its location in the project and then you have more information about what this file is. So again, if I wanted to return it as JSON, so I can do DX describe neoplasm underscore participants dash dash JSON. And this is a big kind of uh, information, but you can see that there is all sorts of information um, about this particular file. Um, not only the file ID project, but because this is a cohort on, on, the, um, on the platform, it also has what's called this um, 
information um, about the SQL that was used that uh, for the filter that that was used to build this particular um, this particular cohort. So that's um, the basics behind DX Describe. So this is uh, talking about moving files around and copying files around. So one thing to really keep in mind is that copying has a very distinct definition on RAP. Um, when you are copying, you're copying files from one project to another. Uh, that, so if you try to copy a file using DXCP um, to another directory, um, uh, you're going to get an, an error here. So again, copying is reserved just for moving files between projects. So the command you actually want to use is dxmv. So here we're basically going to move the file that's in our current folder called myfile.txt into the folder called another underscore dir and then with the same name. So again, because the files um, basically are linked, have unique IDs, the file ID, underlying file ID is going to be the same. Okay. So um, I'm going to do a DXLS again. So say I want to move Neoplasm participants um, well, actually, okay, so let's go back into the root directory. So let's go to DX CD and then slash. If we have a, uh, if we do a DX PWD, you'll see we are in the root uh, folder of the project. So say I wanted to move uh, the Neoplasm participants into this folder. So I can do a DX MV. And then I'm going to put in the folder name, which is cohorts. And then the name neoplasm I believe it is. Um, so we'll put a dot because we want to move it here. And if I do a DX LS, you can see I moved that file neo plasm participants into our uh, root folder.